This is the last day of 2011. And of course, because of flaws in the Gregorian calendar, it's not really 2011, and it's not really 2012 that's about to happen. If you don't believe me, ask someone who lives in Thailand what year it is for the surprise of your life. <laughs> so don't worry about 2012 because it happened quite a few years ago. And if none of you believe me, uh, remember the year 2000 bug chat and chatter. Now, a lot of that was uh, were computer issues and stuff. I understand that. Um, but... Uh, the year 2000 had already happened quite a, quite a while ago, you know. Uh, all right. So, it's early in the morning. This is my typical gloomy view. It seems as though it just rains every day, but this is completely normal with this time of year here. We really won't get snow and frost until January. The weather is very, very normal. Uh, for for this year, it's been normal. We had a, a nasty drought during the springtime this year in France uh, for about six weeks or eight weeks or, or so. But um, besides a rather wet summer, it's it's quite normal here. I'd like to give a shout out to the Sunshine 8308 channel who has mentioned me favorably. Thank you very much. And as as you guys know, uh, I do mince my words, but I had a dreadful Christmas this year, uh, and I don't expect anything for New Year's tonight, you know. But I always go to bed really early. <laughs> I quit going out on New Year's Eve in 1980 in New York. Um, I went to a, a party, and there was a huge snowfall in New York City in Manhattan that year. <clears throat> I didn't want to go to the party, but the guy said, oh, please come. And he put on quite a nice party on the Upper East Side. Uh, but I was totally not into it. I was gloomy um, and sullen. And I just left. And uh, it was hard to get a taxi, of course, back down to the East Village. And uh, I remember uh, the driver had to take a bunch of people in one cab. And I said, yeah, sure, you know, we'll, we'll divide up the fares, whatever. Uh, it's not fair for one person to take one cab. We we should group together. And as we were getting near the Plaza Hotel, uh, the, the, the taxi radio was playing, I want to be sedated by the Ramones. And I thought, this is it, man. I am never going out to another New Year's Eve party ever again. I'm staying in, and I have ever since. <laughs> so now it's getting to be 2012, and I've been in every night since then. I go to bed so early on New Year's Eve most years. Sometimes I wake up around midnight and I hear some people around here banging on some pots and pans. But you know, they didn't even do that last year. I was actually awake at midnight and, you know, it was just like dead silence, you know, dread of the coming year. Um, I read an, an interesting essay this week. Uh, there's a, a website called www.americansinfrance.net. And this is the second blog that I've subscribed to. I, I really don't do blogs, but I, I've tried this one out. And it had a pretty pretty interesting, very, very short essay in, in it that I saw this week about how France is dealing with uh, its austerity measures and uh, the deficit. They've raised, quietly raised taxes enormously here this year for the wealthy. And nobody's upset. I, I really don't understand all this Europe is collapsing stuff, you know. I mean, this building across the street does look terrible, but it's half empty and it's about to be torn down. Um, you see a lot of open windows and stuff up there. A lot of pigeons roosting up there. But this project is over 50 years old and it's all being replaced. The building down there has been gone for months now. So it's the end of another year. One thing that happened to me this week which was very pleasant was I had an investment pay off very, very well. And um, just by chance I was looking at a secondary email account I have 
and I saw that a large wire transfer had been made to me. So I was kind of surprised but very mistrustful and I looked into it and sure enough um, it paid off. My spouse was kind of surprised when I told him and I think he was a little bit annoyed that I had, because we had so much trouble last year and some this year, um, arranged to have the money given to me into one of my bank accounts and not his. And um, he wants to talk to me about what to do with it next week. You know, it when you get married in France, um, always get a marriage contract. See, I didn't get one. I tried to find out information about how to get married here and what the laws were and what the deal w was with immigrating here and buying real estate here and getting a job and a bank account here and everything. And there was really nobody to advise me. So that's one of the reasons that I'm an expatriation consultant. I can help you with that, but I, I charge money, people. So don't ask me for any free advice. A, a lot of you still get it, and I'm much too generous. Oh, there's a little fly on one of these old pepper plants. There are still bugs flying around. It's not that cold here. Um, but if you want to come over here and live and work, fine. But uh, remember that this is a different legal system and everything. The banking system is different. Um, uh, the administration is different and you really need to talk to somebody who's lived here for a long time uh, as I have to advise you about how to take it step by step and what to expect and there's no reason you can't do it successfully but uh, however much money you think you need you probably need about five times that amount you know <laughs> I must be frank I do have about a thousand videos up on YouTube and Daily Motion, which you can look at for free. And I do have a website, which is very simple. There's nothing fancy about it. I haven't checked it for the past couple of weeks. I don't look at it very often. So, Happy New Year, everybody. Uh, as far as the Chinese calendar goes, it's the Year of the Dragon coming up around February, I think. This is still the Year of the Rabbit. I'm still reeling from a metal over wood tiger year in 2010. Um, I'm really sorry that uh, Barnon 11967 is not going to be doing videos anymore apparently. Quite a few good channelers have quit doing their channels this year and the year before. Um, I noticed in 2010 um, some people that I knew, whom I knew in the United States, uh, sold everything and, you know, cashed out and got out of the country. And, you know, they took their kids out of school, they sold everything, their real estate, they got out of the U.S. dollar, and they left. This was in 2010, early in 2010. And it's not just one case I'm citing, it's several who told me that they were doing this and I hope they're okay. Um, I think it's, you know, I, I plan to probably stop w doing so much on YouTube in February of this year because I really have to concentrate on my new business and get clients and activity together because I've had to pay thousands of euros in social charges for 2012 even though I'm not earning anything yet from that. You know, that's the price you pay over here. Um, but YouTube was a, a two-year project for me to vlog, and I really doubt that I will be closing my two channels. I think I'll just post more on Daily Motion and vlog a lot less, but it's been very interesting and fun, and my cutoff date is not, you know, set in concrete. So this is my gloomy Saturday, and I do have some stuff I have to get done today, and uh, I hope you're all well. I've really enjoyed being in touch with you, and um, squeeze it easy.